Hey Jack. Um, don't hear anything. Um, you have the mic very close to me, but uh, can you hear me now? Can you hear everything good? Okay then. Um, I'm accidentally muted it. I'm just trying to get. <laughs> I have the mic in. Oh, I'll have the mic in the video. Why not? It's pretty. Something to, something nice to look at. Um. So yes. Uh, um. Haven't started the game yet. Um. Because. I started it up and there was a bit of a intro that I didn't want anyone to miss, so I'm going to start the game up. <laughs> Something nice to look at, you mean like your cute face? Oh, stop it. <laughs> um, so I'm going to put the Twitch on my phone so I can see your comments still. I'm going to start the game soon, so when I do, please tell me if you can see and hear the game alright uh, once I pull it up. Just... Okay, I'm going to start the game right now. The human mind. 600 miles of synaptic fiber, five and a half ounces of cranial fluid, 1,500 grams of complex neural matter. A three-pound pile of dreams. And I'll tell you what it really is. It is the ultimate battlefield. And the ultimate weapon. You see the wars of this modern age, the psychic age, are all fought somewhere between these damp, curvaceous undulations. From this day forward, you are all psychic soldiers, paranormal paratroopers, mental marines who are about to ship out on the adventure of their lives. This is our beachhead, and this is your landing craft. You shall engage the enemy in his own mentality. You shall chase his dreams. You shall fight his demons. You shall live his nightmares. And those of you who fight well, you will find yourselves on the path to becoming international secret agents. In other words, psychonauts. The rest of you Please. will die. <laughs> Oh, Maury. Children, you are not going to die. Well, if you're not a psycho doc, then you might as well be dead. They told me this was a summer camp. Ah, <laughs> oh, Dogen, don't worry about old Coach Oleander. I've been coming here for years, and trust me, nothing ever happens. Yeah, Dogen, Lily's right. You don't got nothing to worry about. Except for that giant monster in the lake I was telling you about. Bobby Zilch! I told you to stop scaring people with that ridiculous old legend. I don't want the kids to be afraid to go out at night and walk alone on the perfectly safe paths of Whispering Rock Psychic Summer Camp. And we don't want to scare our special guests. Superstar Psychonaut Sasha Nine and Mia Modello. Whoa. Light Monster! Formation. It's resisting. Quick, bring it over here. Is it? It's just a little boy. What's your name, darling? I'll find out. Kid, get in! Ugh. My name starts with a D. Is Rasputin. But everybody calls me Raz. 
Compelling. Armored like a tank! Sorry I'm late. I don't want to disrupt your briefing, Agent Oleander. Agents 9, Vodello, please, continue. Where do you think you're going? You've broken into a highly classified remote government training facility. I know. Isn't it great? Listen, why don't I just sit over here quietly with my fellow psychedets? Hey, how's it going? I like your hat. We need to have this young man taken from here immediately. I'll call his parents. What? But don't you train psychonauts here? Yes, darling, but... To soar across the astral plane. To wage psychic warfare against the enemies of free thought. That is what I wrote on the front of the pamphlet. Those words are why I'm here, Coach Oleander. Do you remember what you wrote on the inside of that pamphlet? You were born with a special gift. But the people around you treat it like a curse. Your mother is afraid of you. And your father looks at you with shame in his eyes. Come to Whispering Rock Psychic Summer Camp, and you can show them all. Back home, your powers make you a loner, an outcast, a circus freak. But in this dojo, in this psychic dojo, they make you a hero. Get that soldier a bunk. Now, darling, you can stay here for a few days until your parents come for you, but we can't let you participate in any paranormal training without your parents' consent. I'm sorry. Wowie, you're so lucky. You get to go home soon. Home? Back there, I was just like you were, Dogen. Punished by my own family for having powers I never asked for. But here, I have a chance to be something, to make a difference. They may come for me, Dogen, but they'll be looking for Raz, the boy. What they're going to find, what they don't expect, is Raz, the Psychonaut. And, and, and then you'll make their heads explode? No. Do you do that? No. Well, once kinda. But now I wear this special hat. Want to try it on? No, no, no. But he has mental defenses like I've never seen in someone so young. If I could just get him in my lab for some experiments, I'm sure he could withstand more than the others. That kid's one in a million, Nine. But I'm not gonna let you turn him into one of your guinea pigs. I got big plans for that mind. Ooh. All right then. <laughs> yep, here we go. Our daybreakers, welcome to Psycho Robots. <laughs> Jack, if fighting is sure to result in victory, then you must fight. Sansu said that. He does kind of sound like the soldier, doesn't he? I wonder if it's the same voice, voice actor. Oh, uh, oh, that's Richard Horvitz, isn't it? I can hear the Zim in his voice. Oh, is it really nice? Um, oh, he has a soft spot. Yeah. So, I know absolutely nothing about this game, uh, but I've wanted to play it for a great many years, so now I'm finally getting a chance. Oops, sorry, I hit the mic. Um, very happy about that. Normally when I play this kind of game, I play it using a uh, walkthrough so I don't miss anything, but I couldn't really figure out a way to do that with my streams, because I have the game full screen and I have Twitch on my phone, so um, there's no really any room in here for my laptop to have the guide up on there, so I guess I'm playing it blind. So yay, um, I don't know if anyone else will be watching and ho hopefully know about Psychonauts and maybe help me out with things, uh, hints and tips would be very much appreciated. Um, but if not, we'll just see how it goes. Uh, Jack, yeah, the protag, Raz, yeah, he absolutely is Richard Horvitz, one of my childhood favourite voices. I look at the soldier guy, though. Ah, that's cool. I, I didn't recognise him, because I haven't watched Invader Zen, I'm sorry. Um, but this bunk is available. Um, or I could go here. Or I could go here. Hmm. 
do I want? Crying kid. Uh, kid that makes people's heads explode. Or... Push-ups kid. <laughs> um... I think I'll go over here for now. Yeah, sure, why not? This looks good. Pick nickname. Uh, um, do I have to use the keyboard? I guess I do. Um, of course. See each and every one of you runs in my classroom at 0600 hours on the dot. I'm the early bird, and you're the worms. Got it? Now, lights out! Okay, quick eye exam before we start. Look over that way, if you will. Uh, also, a right stick to look right. Wow, yeah. what's that? Oh, that's a Psy challenge marker. The staff scatters these all over the camp to test the students. Every one of these you find advances you a whole rank. Uh-huh. Now look up for me, if you will. Hmm. Some of the old markers have fallen apart. You'll find bits of them flapping around loose. If you find enough of these side cards, you can put them together to make a brand new challenge marker. But you have to buy a side core at the camp store to hold them together. Keep ranking up, and before you know it, you'll be able to use brand new psychic powers. Stuff you didn't even know you could do. And then when do I become a psychonaut? Because I have to do that before my dad shows up to take me home. Hey, where'd he go? That guy looks so familiar. Change your camera preferences, press start to open your journal and select options from the first page. Hey Raz! Hurry up! You don't want to be late for basic braining! Woohoo! Basic braining is the best class ever! Woohoo! You say so. Uh you have to oh, mouse to navigate the journal. Okay. Let's move, move this over here. Can I get subtitles? Subtitles. There we go. That's better. Okay. And, uh, okay, Oleander is voiced by Nick Jameson, who was, wow, kind of a lot. Uh, Michael Morbius in Spider Man the Animated Series, Palpatine in Clone Wars, Uncle Owen in Phineas and Ferb, Yui Suvarov in 24. Oh, he was Max in Sam and Max Hit the Road. Oh, nice. Oh, that's interesting. I haven't seen you get side advertisements on your stream before. Like those pop ups you get on YouTube, but they go away eventually. Oh, I didn't even know that was a thing. Um, and JT's enthusiastic. Yeah, he is. Seems like um, basic braining. Uh, I want to check on this wall. See, see what's around here. Wait. Okay, so that's attack. Let's jump. Ah, Y is to distract. Hey, congratulations! You found a loose psi card. Like nine of these, and you can build a psi challenge marker out of them. Okay. But you'll need to get a side core from the camp store and a little help from Ford Color. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. Okay. Um. Let me either. If you're curious, it was for a Calvin Klein fragrance configure. Yeah. Oh, 
IRS. Squirrel trouble? They're liars as all. Whatever they tell you, it's a lie. I'll take your word for it. You going to class? Yeah. I'll meet you up there. As soon as I get these guys to shut up. Shut hey. up! Good luck with that. Good. Hey, 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 too bad you couldn't kick down the door from the inside there. You could have gone like, somebody wants to me. Why to pull up? Ooh. Your first arrowhead. Arrowheads are made of titanium, a rare psychoreactive mineral which makes them very valuable. valuable. You can use arrowheads to buy items at the camp store and other places you find. Arrowheads are the currency? Mm -hmm. Okay. That works, I guess. I do anything with you, no. Ugh! That has got to be the worst band name I have ever heard in the history of ever, of all time, ever. And by worst, did you possibly mean the best? Because that's what I was thinking. No, I meant worst, as in I can't even believe we're friends, it's so bad. Look deeply into your heart, Phoebe, and I think you'll find that even you believe the Levitators is pretty much the dopest name a band could ever have. The Levitators? Uh, are we some sort of cover band that only plays graduation ceremonies for motivational seminars? I've been practicing, and I think I could levitate us both during our gigs. For real now. <laughs> no way! Last year you dropped me and I broke my drums. Hey, at least those got fixed. I'll never get back those records you melted with that unplanned pyrotechnics display of yours. Look, you know when I have a good solo going, sometimes things get hot. I can't help it. And it seemed like part of the show if we named the band the right thing. Oh, not this again. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen. Uh, please. Would you please welcome... No. The Firestarters. Oh, man. <sighs> if we're going to call it that, we might as well call it Burning Itch. What? <laughs> I like both those band names. <laughs> Hey, how's everybody tonight? You feeling itchy? I said you feeling itchy? Watch it, Quentin. Or what? You'll burn me? You know you can't burn me. You got a block. That's why we're friends. Oh, you're right. That's why we're in a band together. Yeah. And why we should call the band the Levitators. Did you say heavy taters? Because that's what I heard. Levitators. The Whispering Rockers. Oh, uh, what? That's my band name idea. Why aren't you guys in Coach Oleander's class? Are you kidding? A kid got killed in that class last year. I heard it was a bunch of kids, Phoebe. Well, I heard it was a bunch of blind kids, and the coach threw them off a cliff. Yeah, because they were late for class. You'd better hurry, kid. Now, where were we, Quinn? Levitators. <laughs> Jane, burning itch is the Fire best idea, <laughs> idea so Levitators. far. Levitators. <laughs> Jack, honestly, yeah. Yeah, well, I, I like all the kind of names. Fire starters. Yeah, I sleep to argue. You know that cabin is empty, right? Duh. I'm practicing for tonight when it's going to be full of ladies. That kind of thing takes practice. Um, excuse me, but my parents let me watch R-rated movies, so I think I know a little bit more about this than you do, okay? Hey, watch yes, out! Sir. Someone's coming! Tell them to find their own hole! Levitators! I am definitely Fire going starters. to need all Levitators! So, you're dating Elka now. Does that mean we won't hang out as much? Shoot, I reckon things ain't gonna change one bit. Doggone it, partner. No woman's never gonna... Hey, you're gonna make my boyfriend late for class. Come on, James. Come. 
on. Okay. New boy. Seen bear lurking in woods? No. Nope. Positive. Giant, hairless bear? No. Nope. In Russia, bears much smaller. Also more hair. Less lurking. Always eager to wrestle. This one, hide and run. I'll let you know if I see anything. Cannot lurk forever, bear. <laughs> Jack, okay, we have two campers so far we don't like much. Yeah. I'll let you know if I see anything. Cannot learn forever, Bear. Mikhail will find you. Nah. The rest of camp is off limits until you have a basic braining merit badge. Now get! Guess I need to do this basic braining thing then. Oh, there's something up there. Can I get up there? Hey! Should be able to balance on tight ropes like this. Oh, cool. Oh, I'm really moving up in the world now. I mean, by hanging and swinging on these weak spots, you have to stick swing for a safe jump up. Oops. I can get on it. There we go. Like, wait, bears are smaller in Russia? No way, you three brown bears alone, like 1,500 pounds. Well, we don't know what the bears look like around here. Hip. Surface is covered with netting and they climb in all directions. Hip. I can double go. Slide down muddy or slippery surfaces. Camera. Surface is going, yeah, I just saw that already. It's in here. Looks like it's completely frozen on a big block of ice. Okay, I guess I need some kind of pyrotechnic ability to. Oh, there's nothing here, okay. I'll climb up here. Yes, I need some kind of sort of pyrotechnic ability to um, break that. Can I do anything here? Ah, there's a passage. Okay. Ladder and move up to climb. I'm back. Okay. Hey, no, Jack, I'm getting a mild Tim Burton vibe from this game. Anyone else? Yeah, now that you mention it, it does kind of look a bit like that. Same guy, same people who made Brutal Legend in this game. A person, Tim Schafer. Another Tim. Huh. Fire starters. Yeah, I have to go back and forth here. Yeah. There's eight, just need one more and then I can get a challenge. Ooh. Yep. Just found 
the side challenge marker. Every time you find one of these, your side cadet, cadet rank goes up. Rank up enough and you'll get new side powers. Yay! Rank, rank up. So falling damage. Let's see what's up here. Oh, there's a thing. Good news, you have enough side cards to build a new side challenge marker. Just buy a side core at the camp store and use Agent Crowder's special lab equipment to put the cards and core together into a new marker. After class, of course. Right. Yeah, we need to do the class first. Jackie brought back the P5R rank up, I see. see it, uh, it, it, I, <laughs> sorry. I used it a long time before that, um, just that was the first time I used it on stream. Yeah, I used it for a lot of games before, just never used it on a stream until I played Turn of Fire Warrior. They're sliding down the handrail. Um, hey, where are you going, Lulu? Shh! I snuck out! That class is a death trap for crazy people! Listen, the coach is strong. At the start of class, he pulls you into his mind, and then there's nothing you can do about it. But once you're in, you can use these smelling salts to sneak out. Take mine. I don't need them anymore. I'm calling my parents to come get me before I get hurt. Too late! Bobby! Ah! Hey, kid! You owe me five arrowheads for this week's protection service. Cough it up, my loser, or you'll be coughing up bloody tears. Hey, leave him alone. I heard a rumor that you were raised in the circus. Well, let me put this in terms you'll understand. I'm the strong man around here. Really? Because you look more like the cotton candy. <laughs> Benny, put this kid dead on my to-do list. Come on, we'll see him in class. Yeah. We'll settle this on the battlefield! I look forward to beating you. Hey, your journal is a great place to see what you've done so far and plan what you're going to do next. You can use it to save and load your progress, change your options, and there's a helpful map in the back. Press start to open your journal. Oh. Okay, it said try sliding down the handrail, so I'm gonna do that now. That was fun. Yeah, gosh, this totally feels like I'm watching an old 90s Nick tune. It really does, doesn't it? With the weird, the silly voices and the character design and everything. Oh, there's another one over there. So I picked this one up before, the Louis Spawn. If so, I can probably get an unlimited amount of them, which is awesome. Fire starters! Levitators! Do something with that bird, it glows when I get near it, but it flies away. Why don't you come alight on my shoulder? Jerk. <laughs> okay. Guess it's just for fun. <laughs> Jack, <laughs> I think every kid out there has wanted to grind down the stair handrail. I know I have wanted to, and you know, I've actually done it. Go to the... Wait, there's a bird. I want to see if this bird does anything. Okay, no, it's just... It's being weird. I don't know what's going on with that bird. I'm just going to leave it alone. Let's go to class. You've not been long enough. I'll probably wait for me. Why don't you come alight on my shoulder? Jerk. She says that, okay. 
all be in a trance while they astrally project themselves into the coach's sight. Which is awesome. <laughs> Took the words right out of my mouth, Ross. Okay, let's do this. Oh, look, oh, look at this. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to disturb you. <laughs> well, I, I know I shouldn't, but I really like that, <laughs> that little eye flutter that she's doing. Um, okay, that was that. Coach Oleander, I'm reporting for basic training. Son, do you realize that to take my course, I will have to pull you into my mind? You will have to relive every bullet-scarred memory of every battle I have ever faced. It won't be pretty. Are you sure you wouldn't rather run around a bit more in the sunshine first? Ready, sir. I've pretty much done everything I can around here, I think. I'm ready, sir. Well, then... You're late, soldier. Now get in here and give me 20. So, this is it. The mental world. It looks like a dentist office. A mental dentist office. It's a recruiting office, kids. And I'm here to recruit you for the greatest job in the world. Being a psychonaut. It's about fighting a war for mental freedom. Are you ready to face torture, insanity, and death? Because this is your last chance to chicken out. Oh, me, sir. I'd like to chicken out, please. Too late, soldier. But you said... There's only one way out of here. Fighting. I want one of you chickens to sock me square in a jaw. I warn you, once you do, the war is on. Well then. I said pop me! You say so. Ah, that's what I'm talking about. Let's go, go, go! <laughs> Jackie has a literal door in his head. Okay, I think that was meant to be symbolic for the this. <laughs> what kind of obstacle course is this? That kid just got killed! A mental obstacle course, you bleeding heart. He's not dead. His astral projection just got kicked out of my mind. And I'll kick your astral projection out of here too if you don't get moving right now! Wait. Yeah. This is our tutorial. Yes. They will end up. Just a figment of my imagination. You can run right through figments. They help you rank up, and when you rank up, you earn new psychic powers. So whenever you see a figment, suck it up, soldier. Come on, get that figment. Be a figgy piggy. Who's coach's little piggy? Oink, going going. Um, yeah, Jack said it looks like a uh, 90s. Nick, Nick too, Nickelodeon cartoon. But sorry, keep it in the microphone. Yeah, it's pretty odd. Yeah, yeah, Jack. Oh, clever, nearly getting that past the radar there. Yep. Okay then, Hexty. Your first figment. Collect 100 figment points and you'll be promoted. If you get promoted to a high enough rank, you'll learn new psychic abilities. You can look at all the figments you've collected in your journal. Understand you, brother. Hey, what are you yeah. staring at? We all have emotional baggage, kid. Why don't you make yourself useful? Sort some of it out while you're in here. Keep your eyes peeled for a tag that matches. Could be anywhere. I need the steamer trunk tag for this guy. Steamer trunk? Oh, uh, over here. There it is! Now, you will pick up that tag and you will put it on that bag you just found! Unless you'd rather just drop and give me 20 right now! Thank you, Zach's box. Yeah. 
to check. Oh god, so the mental baggage is literally in the form of luggage. Yeah, it's, it's emotional baggage because it is luggage and it was crying, so it's emotional. Yeah. Yeah. Mentalis Uberalis, is that like a slogan? Mind above all? Yeah, I guess so. Watch out! Fire down below! Mm -hmm. Sure. Um, can you hear Hannah, Jack? I need to do an ad break, sorry. <laughs> um, I totally lost track of time. It's hard to hear you over the gate. Uh, me or Hannah? Both of you. Okay, maybe I need to turn the game volume down then. Let's see options. So I thought if I as a reward on next step, like if I manage to lose weight to my normal, get good on HRT, then I change my style. Uh -huh. Like maybe doing a side cut and maybe pierce my ears again. Oh, that'd be awesome. It would be. You should go for it. It's the next step, but it was maybe as a ward, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, what it Okay. Let's try this. Motivation. Don't leave me hanging. Okay. Um. I like my style, though. Okay. You'll have plenty of time to stand around when you're dead. Black in some pants. Okay. People hear me probably. So. I know it's okay, it's game. So okay. just... It's game day, kid! Oh, It'd be good from here, but we tested the last thing again. No. Second house was based on an abandoned concept that Tim Schafer had during the development of Old Brother, which expanded all the whole game. Oh, sorry, like cutscene. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> we can't get past this! This is stupid! Hmm. Looks like a test. There's probably a secret, more advanced route. What's that supposed to mean? You think you're more advanced Looks than like me, new kid? Sorry. Sorry. What? Dress. I'm not mm. stupid. You're stupid. The coach is stupid. The whole camp is stupid. That thing flying at you is like stupid. What's voice. flying at me? <laughs> <laughs> Bobby built his foot. That's what? You're stupid, new kid. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, <laughs> I 
thanks for saving me. Well, actually, I was saving this plant. Huh. Never seen one so meaty before. I have. It's been appearing in this creepy nightmare I keep having. You're having nightmares? Oh, I've been reading about how to fix those. Will you let me see one? Hmm. No. Okay. Uh, um, Jax says, was Hannah talking to me earlier? Um, she's like doing trivia. Can you, can you hear her? Less waiting, more motivated. Yeah, I'm just gonna pause that for a second. Uh, he says, he says you can't, he can't hear you. Oh, that's weird. That's picked me up last time. No, I do it like virtually if it's okay. Um. Okay, Psychonauts was based on an abandoned con- You can go on. No, no, I want you to play. I thought- That's why I asked if it's okay to say. Just short. Obviously, don't win cutscenes. Psychonauts was based on an abandoned concept that Tim Schafer had during the development of Full Throttle, which he expanded out into full game through his- through his then new company, Double Fine. Tim Schafer? His name tells me something. What did he before? After spent over a decade or at Lucas Arts, or oh, maybe that's where I heard him, no? he um, he is known as a designer of critical acclaimed games. Whole Throttle, which I don't know, but Crim Fandango, Psychonauts, Brutal Legend, and Broken Age, and co design of Day of the Tentacle as assistant designer on Secret Monkey Island, Monkey Island 2, Le Shark's Revenge. So, yeah, so quite the designer, no? then. Uh, uh. Oh, Lucas Arts, I know that name. Oh, Grim Pandango, of course. Yeah, so Tim Schafer, ne? And, yeah, and so, um, uh, dear, he had uh, been working for Trot and went to his new company, Double Fine, where he set Psychonaut, ne? The game was initially backed by Microsoft's Ed Fry's a supreme title for the original Xbox console, but several internal and external issues led to difficulties for Double Fine in meeting various milestones responding to testing feedback. Following Fry's <laughs> departure in 2004, Microsoft dropped uh, the publishing rights, making the game's future unclear. Double Fine was able to secure Majesco as publisher of a, f a few months later, allowing them to complete the game after four and a half years of devel devel <laughs> development. In what person's stream are you? Uh, so just, ah, uh, yeah, it makes sense. Uh, and, and so did I say did I say dream? Yes. Oh, sorry, my man. And just as a training, or is it? Do, oh yeah, okay. So it's not like you need to hear them or something. No, it's a ah, okay. Uh, despite being well received, Psychonauts did not so well, not sell well, not sell well, um, with only about 100,000 retail units. Wow, that's really low. So at the time of release, going uphill in January with crutches. leading to severe financial loss from Majesco and the departure from the video game market. Whoa, sick. Uh, the title was considered a commercial failure. Psychonauts since has earned a number of industry awards, gained a cult following, and has been considered one of the greatest video games ever made. So kind of like a fate like some, ne? like like bloodlines. Ne? Like, following the acquisition of the game, Double Fine's republishing capabilities and support for modern platforms has, upward, has allowed them to offer the game through digital distribution, and the company has reported that their own sales of the game have far exceeded what was initially sold on its original release, with cumulative sales of nearly uh, 1.7 um, million as of December 2015. Is your name Joey? No. Because I'm going to call you Slowy oh. Joey. That's not my name. <laughs> what was that, Slowy? I can't hear you. You're talking too slow. <laughs> Uh, Jack, this is basically a mental obstacle course based on his imagination. Oh wow, that's low. Ah, so it was a late bloomer, that's respectable. Yeah, um, as a seek the seeker was also announced in the same month, 2015, at the Game Awards. Yeah, released, uh, yeah, like I said, just, uh, 
25th of August, ne? <lacht> You're like molasses going uphill in January with crutches. Ah, also, hier muss ich weiter feiern. More Shaver's Initial Studio Highs included several others that worked alongside him on Crim Fandango. Okay, you played um, the remaster? What? Crim Fandango? No, I haven't played the original. Ah, but I, th I, th I think the remaster is like still on Game Pass. You're like molasses going uphill in January with crutches! Richard conceived backstory with Tim Schiff envisioned a sequence where the protagonist Ben goes on a, a peyote induced psychedelic experience. Hey Dogan, what's wrong? I keep blowing up. <laughs> okay. Follow me. I'll help you through the mines. Okay. While thus was energy rejected from the original game for not being family friendly enough, Schaefer kept this idea in which he doubled it into Psychonauts. While still working at Lucas Arts, Tim Schaefer decided to use I the name Raz. I can't do it! For a main character because he liked the nickname yes, of the Lucas Arts animated Raz McRaz Mavillian. Okay. When Mavillian joined Double Fine, there was increased confusion between the character and the animator. <laughs> the game's associate producer, Camilla Fawson, suggested the name Rasputin as a compromise. Double Fine's lawyer suggested the trademark of the name Rasputin, I can't disease, do it. I can't which was do used it. for the game. Yes, you can, Dogen. <laughs> Just follow me. Okay. Yeah, interesting story. Most of the game's dialogue and script was written by Schaefer and Eric Wolpaff, who at the time was a columnist for the website Look, Old Man Rez, Murray. I didn't explode at all. Good hustle out there. Hey, um, this is for helping me out. Okay, bye. After establishing... Looks like this is a psychic arrowhead. It's a small energy will contribute value to your arrowheads in small amounts, but I think you'll find they add up over time. Or to you. Yeah. I think so. Move, move, move! Yeah. Bye. Yeah. Message bar. Yeah. Okay. Waiting more motivating! Save your progress, press start to open the journal and on the first page select save.
After establishing the game's main character, Shafer undertook his own exercise to write out how the characters would see themselves and the other characters on a social media site similar to Friendster, but Shafer was a fan of it, the time from where he met his wife to be. Ah, <laughs> yeah, some things never change, huh? Like a can write, I'm not a bitch. Oh, you want to send it hey, out? No one told me to pack a shoot. Did okay, Washington have a shoot when he crossed okay, the okay. Delaware? Yeah. Yeah. He's going to the new yeah. pants. And then we turned left. And then we turned right. <laughs> and then we turned a soft <laughs> right. <laughs> and then we turned a deep left. <laughs> And then we took a side Yeah, just, just write what you think is good. And then we stopped and asked for directions. <laughs> and then Lady had to go to the bathroom. And then Lady saw a gopher. And then Lady had to stop and scratch. And then I bent down to tie my shoe. And then we walked three miles. And then we walked two miles. And you then we walked yeah, four know. miles. And then we walked half a mile, and then we made a U-turn. And then we had a snack, and then we got lost for a while, yeah, 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 and then we got attacked by bees. What, what? And then I fell down a bad hole and had to reset my own arm back in the socket. And then we just stood still for a while, and then we turned right, and then we walked three miles, and then we just stood still for a while. And then we walked half a mile, and then we made a U-turn. I think it just goes yeah, on forever. And then we had a snack. And then Lady had to go to the bathroom. Just randomly. And then we turned a deep left. And then we stopped and asked for directions. And then we walked two miles. And then we turned left. This helped him to solidify the characters in his own head by writing the game's dialogue, as well as providing a means of introduction, introducing the characters. <laughs> introducing characters to the rest of the development team. Jackson, does this kid gush to this kid and shut up? Let's see if he did now. To help flesh out, um, Character outside of cutscenes, Shepard developed an approach that used dozens of spoken lines by character that could be stitched together in a different manner, but the game has to reduce apparent repetition. Such stitch include elements like vocal pauses and coughs that made the dialogue sound hey, more look, natural. It's Raz! Yay! Raz is here! Yeah! Maybe you'll be able to beat this darn game! We can't do it! Yeah, we're no good, and the coach won't open the gate until someone wins! Yay, Raz! Just punch that to start! Jerry used the camp and wood setting as a natural place the children would want to wander and explore. You just absorb the positive mental health, maintaining your mental health is important because if you run out, you will not be able to maintain your astral projection and the spine and you'll be kicked back into the real world. Just mm -hmm. maintaining your mental health is important. Indeed. The game's meta words were generally a result of an idea presented by Schaefer to the team flesh out for concept art and gameplay concepts around the idea, and then execute into the game with the asset and gameplay developers, so each word had its own unique identity. You score enough points on this course, kid, and I'll give you a reward. Time course, points needed 20, 10, 60 seconds, you won't receive any points from uh, I'll read more later. Punch, punch, punch. Game. So punch, punch, punch. Yay, Raz! Punch, punch, punch. Yay, Raz! Punch, punch, punch. 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 Okay. <laughs> Was that the reward? <laughs> yeah. It's called cocaine or chocolate. They, <laughs> they store away their shame, their dirty little secrets, and these tiny oh. vaults in their minds. That's cute. But the enemy has not allowed any secrets in wartime, are they, soldier? So go ahead. 
and that Bust looks open this like bolt. something, you know? I got nothing to hide. <laughs> Come on, old. Take them in what was on. Ah, good. Oriander's pride. Uh, Jack, I'll go with uh, XD, the reward for the shutting the kids up. Honestly, I'll take it. Yeah. I'll go with chocolate, thanks, XD. Yeah, me too. Charge into battle. And then, boom. Puts the dynamite. And then he was riding on a bomb or a torpedo or something. A stick. It's clearly stands for a stick. <laughs> and then, helping sick kids. And then, yay! Uh, and then that was it. You okay. enjoy that. One of my favorites. To view this memory again, check out the memories page in your journal. So he was in a war, basically. Uh, yes, please. Yes. Oh, a fox. Oh, fox. Oh, yeah. Uh, the the figment I just picked up. This little guy can teleport you to any previously visited area in the current mental world. Just pick your destination and go. Now, uh, Jack, what was that about a steak, Hannah? Oh no, she said it re resembles his dick. <laughs> the steak. The, this one yes. that he was riding on. Your dick is a steak. <laughs> or your steak is a dick. Something. Yep. <laughs> I'm all the way back at the start. Okay. I want to see if I can help that girl with her nightmare. I know she said that she didn't want me to, but I want to try anyway. Yeah, Jack. Oh, XD. Yes, I can see that. Oh, she's gone. Oh, I guess not then. Let's go back to the teleporter. envy other streamers that can be like talking pretty much constantly. I always feel weird if I'm not talking. Everyone is different. I know, I know. Uh, Jack, you said you haven't played this game before twice. Do you like it? Do you, Hannah and or Lydia? I really like it so far. It's, it's awesome. It's not something I would play myself, but like I said, I like to watch it. See the story of it, like, like the idea. It's nice that you can see it in depth. Yeah, gives me gives me nice like uh, uh, old platform game vibes, which is because I guess it kind of is one of those. But you know, <laughs> um, <Pretty much. laughs> yeah, I like it. Just hope, oh hey, ah crap! I probably shouldn't have put and punched that down. Just hope there aren't any like super difficult puzzles. Onward and upward, soldier. Yeah, but I'm kind of trapped here because this thing is shooting at me. <laughs> ah, crap. Then I 
I died. Zach, that's about. Dang, I was about to say it is 60. Careful, those little things explode too. Ah. Ah. I guess I can jump over it, okay. What the heck? This is hard. Move, Sheesh. move, move! Sheesh. Sheesh, I said. I know. Sheesh. No. Standing around. Come on. The hell. Jack, well it looks like there are spots for the walls and other places gonna ground pound cause them to it's surface. Game day, kid. Ah uh, thank you for for telling me that game. I can't even count because the freaking they just get shot. What the heck. It's game day, oh, kid. Love it. Will you stop it? Time to ground pound. It's game day, kid. But every time you punch a wall, another wall pops up. So punch the wall, then move to the new location. Ah, so you don't have to ground pound. Okay. All right, now I get it. Thank you, Jack. Yes. Uh, Jack, I guess the concrete walls are permanent. Yeah. It's game day, kid. Stopped finally. Okay. Did I miss any figments? You'll have plenty of time to stand around when you're dead. Let's get some health back. Nope, still four minutes left. Okay. Ah, oh, yeah, I can do this. Cool.
Yeah, Jack. Oh wow, he actually made it. Yeah, I guess so. Let's see what's in here. Then there was another flag. Probably should save then. Jack, I guess all that bluster about being tough wasn't just bluster. I guess so. I'm tougher though. Tomba vibes. What vibes? Tomba. Old, old game I really like. Jack, but we're in a mental world astrally projecting ourselves. What? Upper body strength? <laughs> yeah, good point. Mental body strength. Yeah. <laughs> He <laughs> taught me about that game. Yeah, it was fun to play it with you. It's one of my absolute favorite games. Yeah, not many people have. It's not a very well known game. Yeah, it is sad. And then they only made two before the company went bankrupt. So, yeah, kind of sad. But I'll show you, show you at some point if you want. I thought. I thought that was a bouncy net I could bounce on, but I guess it's not. Oh, what the hell? Uh, that, okay, that looked closer than it was. Damn perspective problems. What the heck? I, I was touching it. Are you telling me I can't climb on that? Or maybe... Ah, okay. Hold it right there, boy. That's a mental cobweb. You can collect them with a specialized piece of equipment once you get checked out on it. Till then, just steer clear of them. Jack, I don't think you can climb that. Yeah, I figured. It looked like you could, could though. It looked like looks like a net move, that you can move, climb. Move. Mount tight rope with consent. I'm sorry, please tell me I misheard you say Mount Tightrope with consent. No, you heard me right. <laughs> That's what I said. Jack, Hannah, I think, <laughs> I think, <laughs> it's like I can't even read it now. Um, Hannah, I think July has taken the controls. You might need to shake her loose a bit there. <laughs> That's right. Well, you don't like me, Dan? 
Uh, you'd be happy to see me. Man, cup. To enter first person camera mode, then move the mouse or right stick to look around. It's game day, kid! Oh, L2. Okay. So I had. I thought that, but I'm using an Xbox controller. I don't have an L2 button. L2? Yeah, it just said press L2. Dang, my L2 bowels L2. move more than you do, Pokey. F trigger, yeah. Guess so. Shut up. Oh crap. App breaks. Okay, good. We do it we do a quick app break now. I'll see you soon. Nice, it automatically pauses the game for me if I ought to have out of it. Hey kid, I think I see a silver dollar out there on that rail. Why don't you walk out there a bit and pick it up? Rail, what rail? <laughs> see you then. Use left stick with A to switch rails. Control speed with left stick or use it to change rails when jumping. Ha! Sucker! See you at the bottom! Mm. Oh. Crap. I missed it. Ignorant. I need to punch him then. At least I, ke I keep the figments I collected. Even if I die, which is good. Set me, please. <laughs> Jack, and I'm back. Oh, grind rail. Yep. You missed one. Yeah, okay, you knew. Yeah. Level 100. Nice. Move, move, Yeah, 
for you. And Jack smashed that brat. Yep. He deserves it. Seriously, the kid is giving me weevil. Oh, Jack, he he, mocking him with his own thing. Yeah, seriously, the kid is giving me weevil Underwood vibes. I can definitely see that. No, it rotates, you see. <laughs> Back, big man. Jack, oh, so if you got, go too fast, you, you get fall off. Yes. You get fall off if you go too fast. <laughs> Ah, crap. I keep missing the figments. So I get two fall off. Oh, sorry. Um, yeah, it rotates on its own while you're on it. Yeah. Is that the only figment there is? Yeah. Oh no, there's three more. Two more, even. Uh, Am I supposed to get figments around here? I can, like, grab them and then die. <laughs> no, there are a few. Because you keep them even at rank up. You keep them even after you die, so... I can just, like, do a like, like, suicidal jump for them, grab them, and then... And die and respawn. They keep like flying right past me. Okay, get it. Wait, no, I don't. Shoot. Um. Okay, hey. Come here, you. Gotcha. Oh, I almost landed back on, on it as well. Gotcha. Gotcha, no I don't, yes I do, no I don't, yes I do. <laughs> yeah. I was kind of like that. any figments? Don't see any. Oh good, I got them all. Yay! Alright, let's move on. To another rail. A short one this time. What's What awaits me now? Hello? Hello? Guess I'm early. Oh, you're the only one who actually made it. Oh, the cat's sleeping. Oh. Jack, oh, is this the end? It looks like it. Hello? I guess. Oh. Must be a boss. Once they be able to do anything though. Yep. 
<laughs> yeah, Jack, more like he's the only one who got to this point. Yeah, that's what I, that's what I said. I think... Oh, there's a door. Okay. Hold it right there, son! Now, just what in the Sam Hill do you think you're doing in there? I was just looking for a way out. Oh. Sorry about that. Didn't think you'd get to the end so fast. Dang, I didn't think you'd get to the end at all. You surprised me out there, kid. Here, you've earned this. Your first Psychonaut Merit Badge. But I'm always glad to see a soldier come back from the field alive. Now, if you'll excuse me, I gotta go back in. I left some good men back there. Way to make us look bad in there. If you are in trouble now, Bobby Zilch ain't happy. You better watch yourself, Goggolicious. What's that, hair boy? You want a piece of me? Hey, Brainiacs, settle down. Why? You worried I'm gonna hurt your boyfriend? No, because Sasha Nine is standing right behind you. Your performance, young cadet, was outstanding. I'd like you to report to my lab for some advanced training. Raz the Spaz is gonna be in a special class. Benny, remind me to give him a special beating later, okay? These tests are unauthorized, though, so I can't actually ask you to come. But if you happen to drop in, well, what could I do? Let me just give you this. Remember, your talent will always set you apart, Rasputin. Sometimes isolation is a good thing. It can lead to important discoveries. Wait! I don't even know what your lab is! Is this some kind of test? Sometimes isolation is a good thing. It can lead to important discoveries. And now I'm hearing things. Great. Raz is holding an object in his hand. To use a handheld object, could someone walk up to them and press Y? Uh, Jack. This guy looks like a cross between the Team Fortress 2 soldier and Wario. <laughs> Good job, Troy. Thanks. Yep. Yep. Definitely getting Weevil Underwood vibes from him. Yep. Me too. He's psychic, Raz. I think he was trying to give you a hint in your head. Yeah. Yeah. Like, he reminded me of Agent Smith. Uh, yeah. It does a bit, yeah. <laughs> Complete coach at Oleander's obstacle course. Complete Sasha's advanced training. Press Y to show button to Oleander. Okay. You know where this button is from, coach? Hey! You stole a button from the geodesic psycho-isolation chamber! No, I didn't! I... Bobby Zilch gave it to me! Shoulda known. That kid spends more time in the cooler than in school. Reminds me of myself when I was his age. Well, go put it back. Yes, sir. Hey, Coach, where is the G? Don't you know how to use your map? Right, yes, sorry. Uh, hey, Jack. Oh, he does remind me of Agent Smith now that you say that. Okay, I like him better now, actually. <laughs> yeah. Where's a map? On this page, you can see what you've collected in the current area. Make sure to come back here after you've collected some figments so you can look at them up close with the figment viewer option. Oh, there's still three more uh, side cards in this area, which I haven't gotten yet. This page shows you how you're doing in the bigger scheme of things. Also, once you get your scavenger hunt list, this is where you'll keep it. Awesome. Nice. This page automatically remembers what tasks you're working on. If you're ever unsure what to do next, come back here to jog your memory. 
Once you've cracked open a mental vault, you'll store the memories you find in here. Come back and watch them as many times as you'd like. Oh, so there's a cutscene viewer. Nice. Uh, this handy map sh shows you the layout of the camp. Your position is marked to the red arrow. The next place you should go is marked to the green crosshair. If you ever feel like you don't know where to go, come on back and check out your map. Okay. Ah, that's how you move through. Uh, use right stick to navigate. There, that's where I need to go. Okay. Good. This is the button that Sasha gave me. It's a clue to the location of his secret lab. Okay, I'm gonna close my eyes, right? And then I'm gonna start to count to a hundred, okay? And then you guys hide. Everybody got it? It's hide and seek, Vernon, not hide and calculus. We've all got it. I got it. You start counting, and then I go hide in that bush. Great. One. Milka, you're a genius. Come on, Dogan. Hold on. This reminds me of a story. It's about counting. Hello? Man, you guys are good. On sale now in the main store, we have a special on Dream Fluffs. You hear me? Dream Fluffs. They're good for you. Keep a pocket full of these for a quick boost of mental health. Oh, there's a card. Hey, two more. No passing. But I need to get to Sasha 9's secret lab. Maybe you should have thought of that before. I did think of that before. That's why I'm here now. Exactly. Now you gotta pay the toll. One arrowhead. Pay up! I found this thing. Is that what you're talking about? <laughs> yep. That's an arrowhead. How'd they get here? Frankie, the new kid can't be this dumb, right? The camp's built on an Indian burial ground and... Oh my gosh! Indians buried their dead here? Ew! I hope not. No, stupid. They buried their arrowheads here. They're hidden underground, but they let out a little gas once in a while. Just like Coach Oleander. So if you see any of that stuff, just pull them right out. Like truffles. Anyway, let me have one of yours. Just put it in. Okay. At least that was a cheap tour. Whoa there you, come here you. Can't let a scavenger hunt without a list. Report back to me when you have enough items for your first promotion. Now get! Scavenger hunt items. Find eight items and you'll be promoted four ranks. Find eight more and get promoted another four ranks. Golden acorn, dinosaur bone, diver's helmet, eagle claw, condor egg, fossil, glass eye, gold doubloon, gold watch, voodoo doll, turkey sandwich, Psychonauts comic number one, pirate scope, cherry wood pipe, minor skull, and fertility idol. So where do I... Hey, where'd he go? How does that old guy get around so fast? Teleport. Now. I'll let you know if I see anything. Cannot live forever. There. 
Михаил will find you. Jack, he's psychic, he probably teleports or levitates. Yeah. Ooh, scavenger hunt. I like scavenger hunts. Me too. They're fun. But I haven't really done like any in real life. Me neither. Oh, I think it's a kid maybe, but I can't remember. Yeah, would like to. Would be fun. Only if it's a good one. Yeah, true. Mikhail, as in bear, no wonder he's looking for one. Like the bear mascot, I mean. Ah, maybe. What's that from? What's what from? Um, what bear mascot for what? crazy but I have just got to sell more Psycores today so yes these prices are real here at the camp store Psycores are just that cheap today okay, I don't know where your store is though goodbye cruel camp I'm tired of being picked on by Bobby and all the mean kids at camp if I just had one friend here who was nice, then I would stay. But you're all mean, and no one stands up for me, so I'm going home. I'll be in the parking lot waiting for my dad, so if you want to pick on me one last time, you'd better hurry. Maloof. God. Uh, Misha the Bear, the Russian Olympic mascot. Misha is a short form of Mikhail. Ah! Sorry, I don't watch the Olympics, so I don't I don't know that. On it. Come on. Gotcha. Jack, I don't either, but I see enough promotional material. Ah. There's a lot of things on here. That's in case you were thinking about getting back up again, tree. <laughs> okay. Man, this thing was old when they chopped it down. Let's see. Remember to keep filling up those scavenger hunt forms. We got a couple of big promotions for the winner. Two. Jack, oh wow, that red car looks like it came out of Cruella DeVille's garage. <laughs> I can see that. Ten minutes. Okay. Ah, okay. So I need to go back up there and then make a right. Uh, Jack, are you okay? Something wrong, the three of you, I mean? Uh, no, as far as I know, everything's fine. Yeah, why? <laughs> yeah, you know, why? Does it seem like something's wrong?
Hey, you two doing it? Hey, it's the king of the obstacle course. Hey, Rez, you're awesome. You must be a psychonaut by now. Yeah, or even a double psychonaut. <laughs> oh no, not yet, but soon. Wow, those two are so nice. Yeah, uh, Jack, well, I could hear talking in the background and I wanted to make sure. Oh, that was just Lydia <laughs> reminding us of something. Oh, okay, just making sure. Oh, uh, thank you. Boathouse and beach. Is this the right place? Nope. Not at all. Ooh, targets. Let me break you. Oh, uh, what? Oh, but boathouse. We'll go there. We'll go there at some point, Jack. I'm sure we will. I'm on a mission right now. I have to find the the isolation chamber or whatever it is. Okay, let's get back on the path. Here we go, okay. Sorry. Right, straight ahead. GPC and Wilderness. That's where I'm looking for. Cool. Nice. Hey, you're that new kid, ain't you? <laughs> Excuse me. Well, I'm doing some advanced training right now, as a matter of fact. So I don't think new kid is really a name that you want to get too used to saying. Hold on there. You're not doing Sasha Nine's advanced training that he does in a secret underground lab, are you? Hidden deep within the iron walls of the GPC, where no one can hear you screaming? Why, yes, I am. Sakes alive. Well, nice knowing you. You too. Oh, cutscene. Nice, nice set of dialogue. Yeah. people on that stage besides you no just now in the woods <laughs> mm, no it must have been something else you don't smell like pond scum nice you should write greeting cards there was some sort of shadowy being out there lurking watching I know of only one creature who fits that description it likes to hide in dark places silently watching unsuspecting children from a distance Really? Who? You tree sitter! Don't drop activated. That's because goes with the color and I made like this moon beneath mm -hmm. to a frog. Nice. It's a moon frog. Yay. Oh. 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 Look, I'm trying my best. Okay. So forty forty five need to keep need to make sure I don't miss it. Going the right way. Nope. 
Jack, you're doing a great job. Thank you. Oh, crow feather. Oh, is that the scavenger item? I think it was. Nice. It's annoying that I can't pick up these arrowheads because I'm holding something. Oh, Jack, no, you are not. That way goes to the boathouse. Oh, well, yeah, I, I, I saw that, yeah. Okay, this is the right way. I saw Nils peeking into a hole in the girl's cabin. I'm hiding. And I thought, oh, Nils, when will you peek into the hole in my heart? Because you just see yourself staring back. Uh-huh. What? I mean, he'd see my new boyfriend James staring back, and he'd be furious at Nils. Who's Nils? Exactly! And anyway, there wouldn't even be a hole because James fills my heart till sometimes I think it's gonna explode. One time, I made someone's head explode. Well, okay, maybe there's still a little hole. Actually, it happened four times. But James and I have each other now, and Nils is just going to have to deal with it. Now they make me wear this special hat, so I don't have any more accidents. Are you even listening to me, Dogen? I hope so. <laughs> Jack, I feel like I'm watching three separate conversations. <laughs> yeah. And Dogen was like, just giving me so, so much ruby vibes there as like someone is trying to talk and they just like going completely off on their own tangent <laughs> okay uh, hello? Where are you? You're in your side? Oh, Hold on, no I'm coming. Thanks. I thought I was gonna Jeez. have to eat my own arm. What is this thing? It's a GPC, a geodesic psycho isolation chamber. Oh man, cool. Cool? Do you have any idea what this does? Something cool? Uh, no, it's a six sensory deprivation tank. A hermetically sealed metaphysical hotbox. It's solitary confinement for psychics. Nasty. And the coach walked you inside it? Nah, the staff hasn't put any kids in the GPC since the 50s. Bobby threw me in here. Bully and dwarf accomplice should assault own size or larger only. While in cooler, perhaps notice gigantic bear with skin where hair should be? I didn't see anything in there. That's the whole point. Hmm. Just so. Empty now. Good luck, small ones. Hey, wait! Jack. Oh, that's good at least. Oh, <laughs> not good for not evil to do that to him. Yeah, indeed. Okay, now it's time for an ad break. As my timer just pointed out. Oops. Sheesh. Jeez. Sheesh. That's a bit of a word today. Because I keep messing up. Yeah, but sheesh. Uh, no, just no. like, thank you. I know, I know it's that. It's just a testic word. You get on like, take a word. I know that too. <laughs> that was like, a cute laugh. Sheesh, not sheesh. 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 <laughs> That was, that was a cute laugh. Oh, thank you. Uh, I'll wait for Jack to get back if he's watching ads right now. <laughs> oh, I can pull them up. What am I doing? Hey. Still have no idea where the store is. Uh, 
don't know if Jack is still watching or seeing an ad right now. And I'm back. Okay, yay. Uh, I mean, it was. I meant it was good that the actual Agent Smith guy didn't put him in there. Like that, he's not that cruel. Yeah. I usually try not to type anything before an ad, so I don't miss your response to it. Ah, uh, sorry. Um, but that's why I was waiting for you. Make sure that you were there, so you heard my, me respond to your comments. Okay. I guess I'm supposed to go in here. Good thing I happen to have a button right here. Call me crazy, but I have a weird feeling that that button Sasha gave me goes here. Yes, I think you're right. How do I... Oh, scavenger hunt items found zero, so the crow feather wasn't one of them. Yeah. How do I use the button then? How do I use the button? Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. Of course. I want you to know that you're heard. And your comments are appreciated. Always. Like, seriously, how do I use... I really appreciate that. Thank you. Oh, I'm glad. Call me crazy. Yeah. But okay, I have yeah, a but weird feeling that that button Sasha gave me goes here. Like how do... Oh, view your current psi powers in this thought bubble or press left to see what's in your backpack. Ah, okay. Pull out an item from your backpack, point to it with our left stick and then press A to return it to your backpack later. Press B. that Sasha gave me. It's a clue to the location of his secret lab. Okay, so there we go. Finally. <laughs> Down we go. Agent 9, I'm here for the advanced training. So what are we going to learn? Bending spoons? Burning stuff? Burning spoons? <laughs> <laughs> bending stuff? Well, let's... Burning bending. Let's find out, shall we? I've been hearing a lot about head explosions, and I was wondering... Science, Rasputin. That is what we practice down here. Not parlor tricks. If you are serious about exploring the possibilities of your mind, Step up to the brain tumbler and we'll begin. Brain tumbler? Sounds fun. Let's do it. Have you tested this thing out on humans yet? Step up to the brain tumbler when you're ready. <laughs> the brain tumbler. It doesn't sound safe. <laughs> Jack Bending Burns. I like the name at least, XD. <laughs> yeah. Brain Tumbler is a cool name. I'm sure it'll be perfectly safe. Soldier. Yeah. What well, could possibly go wrong? Wait. Just everything. It had a. There was a prompt there, but it's gone now. There so, we go. What's this hairdryer thing do? Ah, you're ready for the Brain Tumbler. With this device, we will send you deep into your own psyche, where you should find unparalleled insight and power. Excellent. Tumble away. <laughs> now just relax. This will not hurt. Unless something really very bad happens. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Is this what the inside of my mind looks like? Not yet. You are still ah, traveling to the astral the plane. Sorry. This is a tiny corner of what we call the collective unconscious. A place in which all of our unconscious minds are connected. 
You have just begun your training, Rasputin, so many of the connections with other minds are still not developed for you, and those doorways remain just out of reach. But the more you explore the mental world, the more connections you will form. Right now, the only unconscious world you can enter is that one, your own. Step through it, and we'll continue. Well, I like this. Uh, Jack asked that we're in my mentors. <laughs> yeah, basically. The collective unconscious of everyone. Except it's a lot less creepy here. Brain tumbler experiment. For those are not in a thriving cat. Yeah. Rasputin, can you hear me? Sasha? Where am I? You are inside your own mind, but I'm not sure where. Tell me, what can you see? I see a rundown gypsy caravan. Do you recognize it? Yes. It's where I was born. I see. Compelling. Where he was born. Because he was born in the circus. Lots of figments. Come here, come here. Big man's ranker. Sasha, I'm going inside the caravan. What do you see inside? I see a fault. Rasputin's getaway. There's the circus. It's like, oh, someone gave him something. The flyer for the the camp, I guess. Jack, oh, so when he said he was from a circus family, he didn't mean they were dramatic. He meant it literally. Yeah. Oh. And no, nope, parents say no. You can't like, go. Like, it's a perfect example for autistic girls. I just like, uh, like c circus. I get you say circus. Yeah. And like, uh, Oh, I just, uh, Jack, like, it's like, oh, it's dramatic. So, wait, what? Eh? Yeah. <laughs> Where? Why are you interpret that in? It's just, it's just circus. Yeah, like, we, it's just the, just the, to point out the difference. Like, we don't mean it in, as mocking or anything. Yeah, like, we just don't understand. Like, the like, difference between us. Yeah. Just don't understand, like, how you can, re like, interpret so much into one word. Yeah. So sneak away and then run away on a pig. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> I think it's a horse. It doesn't look like a horse. <laughs> it looks like a horse. <laughs> okay. The, the um, nose, horse, uh, blah, the, the a horse nose things. I don't know what you say. Nostrils. Nos Is that just say nostrils? Nostrils, yeah. Uh huh. Do you have an own word for that? Oh, really? Yeah, horse, <laughs> horse nostrils we call uh, nustan. Ah, nice. Oh, hey, Lydia. Her jacket looks like a cat to me. <laughs> it's like tiny. Look, look at this. It's like yeah. standing on top of it. It's like t three maybe, times as big maybe, as it. Maybe it's a tiny. Maybe it's the tiniest horse. Ah, uh, is it? Oh, it's a miniature horse, of course. See. Um. Ah. And then and then he arrives at Whispering Rock, and that that was the story. Yay. That's how that story of how Raz escaped the circus. Did you hear what to say about the word circus? Um, or... Jack, maybe it's a Shetland pony. Uh, no, <laughs> I, I don't know. Maybe. Um, uh, Lydia, oh, you're both beautiful cinnamon rolls. Oh, thank you. Uh, Jack, um, I don't know if you heard Hannah, but she was saying, like, um, uh, she doesn't, like, understand, as an autistic person, so she doesn't understand, like, when, how you interpreted, like, uh circus family is like dramatic rather than like as we both thought our first instinct was like oh he's from an actual circus family and it just like it, it shows the difference between us and it's not meant in a bad way it just shows like how differently we interpret things which i think is interesting no, we don't interpret, just well value. yeah is that we don't interpret things that's the point um yeah, that's, anyway, let's go in. I'm not sure. It's getting fuzzy. Uh, oh, uh, uh, what? No, I'll figure it out. Uh, Jack, oh, a, fa a family circus is like a Rasputin, family. Tell me what is happening. Well, 
I'm kind of stuck in a little white space. Hmm. How little? Really little. Do you feel trapped? No. Confined? No. Smothered like you're buried alive? No! Ah! Get me out of here! Can you find your way out? I can't see anything. Uh, uh, a Can you fight your way out? Sorry. Huh? <laughs> Strike out with your psychic fist, Rasputin, but carefully. <laughs> psychic fist. Aha! Rasputin, are you okay? What do you see now? Like his voice. Me too. I see a small, bunny like animal thing. Hmm. <laughs> An unfamiliar animal entity in a dream often represents a primal fear or memory. Follow it and it should lead you somewhere important. Check. Okay, Mr. Bun. You and I are gonna be <laughs> tight. Bun. Wherever you go, I go. Like two peas in a Hey! Come back here! Follow unfamiliar animal entity, bunny. Okay, now I'm gonna pause so I can read this. Um, Jack, oh, a family circus uh, is like a family that's very dramatic and just a lot of problems, XT. It's also the name of a newspaper comic, which is probably where the name come, came from. Uh huh, that's not a thing we know here. Uh, um, oh, interesting. Maybe it's like a gap in his memory, or maybe, or maybe it's a suppressed memory or something. Yeah, like, but it's not a thing we know here. Maybe it's American or from your region. Yeah. Possibly. Uh, Lydia, I wish I was there with you tonight, but you're all the way in the other room. Oh, this, yeah, it's such a long way away, I know. Um, Jack, okay, I'm sorry, but speaking of band names earlier, Psychic Fist would be a great band name. Yes, totally agree. Is he sitting in a giant cracked egg? Yes, yes he is. Interpret that how you will. Uh, Lydia, <laughs> <laughs> Lydia, I've seen Family Circus in newspapers here, I think. Yeah, but I think, like, might not be a phrase, an expression we use. Anyways, let's follow the bunny and collect the figments too, because we need the figments. And the tags. Purse tag. Uh, Jack, I call dibs on that name, Lydia says. Uh, Jack XD, I was just about to make the joke about him being in his own mind inside of a dream cracking open the giant egg. Yeah. Oh, that's not friendly. Okay. Little steak. Can I do anything with you? Apparently, yes. Man, God. Cleaning up around here. Getting rid of all these pigments. Steamer trunk tag. Which, uh, you get away from me, huh? Nope, I don't think so. Uh, Sasha? What is it? Another bunny? No. This is more of a super scary flaming eyed demon kind of deal. Oh. Hmm. What? Okay, oh. I'm pulling you out of there. Just give me a second. Uh, Sasha? Hold on, I'm still getting some unusual interference. It's fascinating. As if someone else. Was... Agent 9? Sorry. Almost ready. Sasha! Agent 9. Nice. Ah! Hmm. That should not have happened. We need to try that again. Oh. I don't think I need to be in the tumbler with the glowy eye guys anymore. Suit yourself. You know, in many tribal societies, learning to defeat the monsters you see in your dreams is considered a rite of passage. I can train you to I fight. Like like Come see me when you're ready. Totally science. Yeah. It's really nice. Yeah, it's nice. Uh, Jack. Uh, now he's punching a giant slab of meat in his mind. Oh my. The joke is that he's beating his... Yeah, I get it. Wait, 
what was that about someone else being there? Also, did you, did you notice that the object the monster threw was the diver helmet you're looking for? Oh, really? It was? Oh, nice. I need to get back in there, then. Okay. I'm ready to learn how to really fight. Oh, really? Hmm. What? Oh, uh, nothing. It's just that I didn't think you'd really take me up on that offer. It usually scares the kids off. Well, not me. <laughs> I'm ready to kill for my camp. Listen, I'm sorry, but I can't train you. Agent Vodello would kill me. What's the big deal? What she doesn't know won't hurt her. You don't even have a marksmanship learner's permit. I could lose my job. I'll get one. Even if you used that secret passage over there and snuck into his sanctuary, Agent Cruller would never give you a marksmanship learner's permit. Agent Cruller? Never in a million... I'm off. Be right back after I talk with Agent Cruller. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so let's go get a marksmanship learner's permit from Fort Crawler. Hey! Welcome to the Whispering Rocket Underground Rapid Transit System. Would you like to go back to your private sanctuary now, Agent Crawler? Or somewhere else? Oh, uh, take me to the kids' cabins area. If there's something still there I haven't gotten yet. Take me to the kids' cabins area. With pleasure. <laughs> oh, Jack, oh, I like your voice. I do too. Uh, Lydia Billy West, is that you? It's not Billy West, but it does kind of sound like him. It's the guy who voices, voiced Invader Zim. Jack, hang on. The Whispering Rocket Underground Rapid Transit System. So it's a W R U R T S. I feel like that's supposed to be some kind of joke, but I can't figure out what. Maybe a pun on what? I, I honestly don't know. up here in the main large store. Why don't you come on up and score yourself a cobweb duster before they're all sold out? Main large. Okay. Where's the, um... the transporter around here, though? Oh, yeah, I already went through there. <laughs> kind of got stuck there for a second. Let's try and find these last three cards. So there they are. Hey Vernon, what's up? I'm hunting the most dangerous prey of all. Man. <laughs> okay. Don't think that's how it goes, but okay, you do you, Vernon. I'll do me, and we won't do each other. Probably. That was a good poem right there. Ah, there's one. Uh, oh, shoot. 
I've got a house for you in two pieces, but yeah. Special on dream fluffs. You hear me? Dream fluffs. They're good for you. Keep a pocket full of these for a quick boost of mental health. Coach, out in the woods, I saw. Huh? What? Sir, we need to get a containment team in the area stats. I've spotted a UPE. A UPE? Yes. An unregistered paranormal entity. Possibly aquatic in nature. I know what a UPE is, son. I just don't know how you know. From True Psychic Tales, issue 424, sir. Where Sasha 9 fought that clairvoyant grizzly bear? <laughs> comic books. This thing was real and huge and, and it smelled all smelly. Save your fish stories for the boathouse, boy. Now, dismiss! What kind of planning? Huh? What? What kind of planning are you doing there? In your sleep? Hey! Never assume a soldier is sleeping just because his eyes are closed. <laughs> Trust me, that tip could save your life someday. But... DISMISSED! Uh, Jack, acronyms like this are always some kind of joke in games cartoons like this, like the fiendish organization for world larceny or the humans against the extraterrestrials. So foul and hate, yeah. Hey coach, will you teach me telekinesis? I told you, Private, I've got a lot of scheming to do here. You're dismissed. And then can't find the comics. Hmm. Ah. Don't know that one. No. Ah. See something over there. Yep. Oh, Huey, Dewey, and Louie, yeah. Good. Okay, call me crazy, but I have just got to sell more Psycors today. So yes, these prices are real. Here at the camp store, Psycors are just that cheap today. Ah, oh, okay, that's the trapeze stuff. I think I was just seeing a bird. Oh. Lady Hoopu Lupu Tupu, yeah. I'll go on, I'm going Valiant Boyard. too much time here <laughs> hunting high and low for every single card I've got places to be and things to do so I gotta go somewhere else kind of wish I knew how to find the transporter from here but I oh it's there nice where would you like me to take you agent Kraler? And Jack was hunting high and low, an intentional reference. You know me, what do you think? <laughs> yes, yes it was. Let's go to Ford's, I mean, my sanctuary. Yes, noble psychomaster. I'm gonna 
Oh, I'm gonna ask people to start calling me that now, from now on. <laughs> That's that cutscene. One sec cutscene. <laughs> hmm, you finally made it. One sec. It's an honor to finally meet you in person, scene. sir. I thought I recognized you in my dream, but I couldn't be sure. Now that I see you in your element, there's no doubt. You're Ford Cruller, the greatest leader the Psychonauts ever had. Well, you shouldn't believe everything you read in True Psychic Tales magazine. I recognise his voice too, uh, Jack. Um, yes, the next the uh, Psycho Master. That's a good title, dang. They sure. Um, also, also would also make for a fantastic band name. <laughs> yeah, Psycho Master rather than Psycho Mistress because Mistress isn't a verb. Oh, interesting. So the janitor was really him all along. Yeah. What are you doing here at Whispering Rock? This training facility is built right smack on top of the largest titanium deposit known to man. It runs under this whole valley and makes this a very critical area for the Psychonauts. So I'm here to look after it and to make sure you little spoonbenders don't kill each other. Uh, can you look up who does this voice chat? Because I swear I recognize it. I said it just looking. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. I didn't hear that. Sorry. No, it's okay, Jack. Hannah's doing it. It's okay. She said before, but I didn't hear. What's titanium? Titanium is a very rare psychoreactive mineral that crashed here on a meteorite hundreds of years ago. It responds to psychic waves, focuses them, amplifies them. It can make psychics more psychic, but it can also make unstable people more unstable. Not everyone can handle that much activity in that part of their brain. It can drive them completely out of their gourd. Gives this valley an interesting history. Hmm? I meant Fort Crawler's voice. Yeah, I'm just checking all of them. Because like what it says on IMDb. Like, Res is voiced by Richard um, Stephen Horwitz. Yeah, we, we found that earlier. He also does same. Good. Um, oh. Wait. Ah. Uh, sorry. That's bullshit here. Uh, so. Sasha 9, Stephen Stanton. Uh, so, how's the name? Okay. David Kaye. Okay. Let's see if I know. Ratchet and Clank, Up, Edo. Also, he, he spoke Clank in Ratchet and Clank. Oh, nice. <laughs> but, like, that specific voice, I'm not trying to talk. Yeah, just that was the same guy. Like, uh, News Reel and Up, Great and Fido. Oh, last week tonight, voiceover. <laughs> <laughs> wow. He is a voiceover for that. Uh, the question DC showcase. Um, Max Tennyson and Ben 10. Grantbot and Doug and Plux. Sesh Shomaru and Yoshahimi. King Peppy and Droids Topia. Duckworth and DuckTales. Uh, Grandpa Pax and Ben 10 vs. something. Angry Chef and Scooby Doo. Narrate and Ben 10 Aliens Worlds. Uh, Bav and Green X Ham. NR02 and Star Wars. Old Republic? Oh, no, I don't know. Wonder Savage and Young Sashtish. <laughs> Corvus Clave and Marvel Ultimate 3. Uh, additional Voice and V Bear BS. Oh, narrator in Kingdom Hearts. Oh, wow, really? Yeah. Oh, nice. In Kingdom Hearts 2019. Yeah. Can't see the full title. Kingdom Hearts 3. Yeah. yeah. Jarvis and Avenger Assemble. Henry Metal, Kel something, Scooby Doo. Stretch Monster and Stretch Arms something. Armstrong. Ah. 
Right then, Wash Washington something with champions. Trailer Voice and Teen Titans. Companion and uh, Prey Moonraker. Ghost Thomas and Legend of the Caballeros. Sorry, we don't have Megatron and Robot Chicken. Shippy P and Johnny Mustill. Beryl and Tonami. Chaos Grave again. Jada Doma and Marvel vs. Capcom. Slash Marks and Transformers. Eagles and Lawbreaker. Uh, Chase Young, Sailing Chronicles. Clank and Super Bomber. Reginald and Regular Show. Call of Duty. King May, Companion Headlander. Dispatch and Trip Tank. Radar and Shooting on something. Raid and Two Pro Girls. Vision, Jarvis and Disney Infinite. Yeah. I think that's mostly it. Narrator, narrator is probably a different voice, but I don't think it. Shazam and Shazam are about a not not that movie, obviously. Dr. Swinehead in The Wolf Among Us. Lone Cart and Dead Island. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Voice actors, or <laughs> cars. Listening like to this to the voice specifically, I know yeah. I've heard that that yeah, specific yeah. voice before. And I was trying to think where it might have been a different voice actor, but the same, but doing both doing the same voice, but yeah. it just sounds familiar to me. Well, his biggest uh, role seems to be like Clank and uh, some some European character in Ben 10 and and Jarvis and some Marvel movies and as a narrator uh, I think mostly known like in the um, Two Broke Girls and even like uh, um, last week tonight which is funny oh, interesting yeah <laughs> yeah maybe it's someone else then yeah um, the voice sounds familiar to me yeah, he certainly does a different voice there. I guess, like, narrator voice is probably more his yeah. closer to his natural voice, I would assume. Yeah. I saw you raking leaves. Was that a disguise? Uh, yes, well, I've got, I have many disguises. It, it helps me keep an eye on you kids wherever you go. <laughs> now, <laughs> when I'm in disguise, I may pretend not to recognize you. Don't blow my cover, okay? Say no more. Your secret identity is safe with me. Okay, cool. That's cool. Yeah, it is. So, what mission are you on down here? Well, from here I can monitor world events, look for signs of psychic terrorism, ripples in the astral plane. And then fly out and save the day, right? You've got a jet hidden here somewhere, I'll bet. Well, you know, these days I'm really just more of a, a dispatcher. I spot the trouble and send out a, a, a younger agent, like me or Sasha. Or maybe you someday. <laughs> what does all this equipment do? Well, up here, it's all intel. Down that hallway is the observation room. No tests going on in there right now. Maybe later. And beneath us, I have special machines for rebuilding side challenge markers and detangling mental cobwebs. You should go familiarize yourself with those. They'll come in pretty handy for you. Lydia Hannah being a cute fox, try being a cute kitty. <laughs> Lydia being a cute bat. What does all this equipment do? Well, up and down that and beneath you should go. So that already. Sasha says I need to learn how to fight better. He wants to teach you advanced combat on your first day? Yeah. I had a vision with a huge monster with yellow eyes and a big mouth full of gnashing teeth. Did it happen to spit anything at you? Yeah. I think it was like an old diving helmet or something. I see. Hmm. Yes, well, we'd better get you armed. Why? 
What's happening? Oh, nothing, nothing. Uh, prepare your mind. That's the motto of the Psychonauts. Uh, <clears throat> here, this is a marksmanship learner's permit. It will only work when you're in Sash's mind. Once you complete his shooting range, you'll get the real merit badge and you can cyblast anywhere you want. Thanks. Cyblast? Oh, you'll find out. Now get going. We can't have the camp overrun with big-eyed garbage spitting monsters, can we? No, sir. I'm going to take a quick bathroom break and get a drink. I'll be right back. Better go. Lots of work to do. Good luck, Rasputin. Thanks. I'll need it. Don't worry. I'll be right here with you. Inside your head. My head? Yep. I want to keep my eye on you, son, so I'm going to be a psychic stowaway inside your noggin. If you ever want to make me appear, you can do it with this special device. Is that a piece of bacon? Oh, yeah. I just love bacon. I smell that stuff and I can't help it. I drop everything and come running. Okay. Do you have like a little baggie or something I could put this in? You get a move on or I'll eat that right here. 
I mean, that would work for me too. I also do come running when I smell bacon. <laughs> Yep. You were there for us for the fish. I was. <laughs> now, before you go electrocuting yourself, let me tell you how these babies work. Now, this beauty here is a mental cobweb detangler. Oh, I know what those are. Mental cobwebs are... You see, when an area of your psyche is neglected for too long, mental cobwebs form. Now, up in the camp store, they sell a very special device known as a mental cobweb duster. You can take a projection of it into the mental world with you and use it to extract any cobwebs you find. The duster stores the cobweb's psychic energy on the real world side. So, you can take what you collect back here, hook it up to the loom, and weave that tangled mess into something useful. Like a card from a side challenge marker, which brings us to this fella over here. You put nine Psy cards into this guy, along with one Psy core, also sold in the company store for a nominal fee, and it will kick out a bona fide Psy challenge market, which will earn you a promotion to a higher rank. Rank up enough, you'll earn new psychic abilities. You got it? Put my mental cobwebs in there, and my Psy cards and cores in there, and soon I'll be able to burn stuff. Yep, basically. Have fun. Uh, Jack, perfectly understandable about the bacon. I mean, wait a minute, I just thought of something. Ooh. That. Oh no, never mind. I thought I recognised the voice, but a very similar one was the one I was thinking of instead. What, were the, what was the one you were thinking of? Because that might be the one that reminds me of. Where would you like me to take you, Agent Kraller? Bring me near the geodesic psycho-isolation chamber. Roger that, Ranger Kraller. I saw Nils peeking into a hole in the girl's cabin. I'm hiding. And I thought, oh, Nils, when will you peek into the hole in my heart? Because you just see yourself that. staring back. Uh-huh. What? Hey, Lily. Going for the advanced training? What's the rush? Are you kidding? I only have a few days to become a psychonaut or I lose my shot forever. Look, Raz, I hate to burst your bubble. But the Psychonauts are not what they used to be. Times have changed. The world just doesn't need us anymore. The world does too need Psychonauts. Right here at this very camp, in fact. I think there are several fishy things that need psychic investigating. You are so immature. And cute. When are you gonna just shut up and kiss me? Shut up and do what? Oh, I didn't know you could. Uh, I gotta go. Bye, so embarrassing. <laughs> Honey, hey, Welcome. Nice. Welcome to the wonderful world of mind reading, Raz. <laughs> uh, Jack Earth King Boomy from Avatar The Last Airbender. I swear it was that exact voice, but apparently it wasn't. Ah, uh, this is not the one I was thinking of because I have not seen Avatar yet. I would like to watch it at some point. Uh, oh, looks like Raz got a new power already. Yeah. Or he always, or he had it all along and didn't even know yeah. until now. There's another card. Okay. Can I see anything from up here while I'm here? Yes, I can. Oh, something in there too. I will burn you like a pile of autumn leaves if you do that again. Guess I have to. If all else fails, use fire.
And Jack, hey, hey, a few of your characters would like King Boomy. He's the kind of guy who acts like a total goofball, but it turns out he's like nine steps ahead of everyone else. So, Moonlight, kind of. Thank you for the card. That looks like fun. It's work. I'm testing a low orbit space plane design. You sound a lot like Tails. I wonder if that was intentional. Remember to keep filling up those scavenger hunt forms. We got a couple of big promotions for the winner. Jack kind of XT like at one point it showed that he won a war single-handedly by doing literally nothing. Of course, the only way to win is not to play. Hey, check this out. Okay, I got it. Check it out. Excellent. Well, my ass is covered. Are you sure you are ready to do this? It could be dangerous. Yes. Are you gonna pull me into your mind like the coach did? Hmm. No offense, but it's time you saw what an organized mind looks like. Welcome to my mind. Huh. It's so empty. Uh, I mean... There's more here than meets the eye, but I've learned to keep it under strict control, and that's what I'm going to teach you. Control your feelings, your fears, your anger. You must learn to control them, focus them, concentrate them, and release them. As therapy? No, as firepower. Say something hideous, <laughs> horrible jumps out at you. Something so disgusting that it simply must die. Ah, oh, it's so tacky. I can't look directly at it, but I control those feelings. Focus them, concentrate, and release. And the world is a better place. Your turn. A uh, real marksmanship merit badge in Sasha's mind. Uh, Jack. Uh, oh, so it wasn't symbolic, it's a literal door. Oh, nice. No, it's firepower. Okay, I like him. <laughs> Me too. Uh, oh gosh, I'm liking him more every second now. <laughs> okay. Uh, I missed. Well done, oh, Raz. We Keep shooting. Well done, Raz. Keep shooting. Yeah. Excellent. A victory for good taste. Now you must strive for precision when targeting. Say you were set upon by multiple attackers. But you need to dispense with them in a certain order. Eliminate these monsters in the proper sequence, and we can move on to the next lesson. Ah, so the, the glow shows which one I'm going to hit. Good shooting, Raz, but you are making it harder than it needs to be. You need to practice locking your mental focus. It makes targeting and evasive maneuvers much easier. Let's try again. This time, lock your mental focus. Well, I would, I would if you would tell me how to do that game. Good, again. Good, again. Now then. No. Is this what you saw in your vision? Um, well... It sure seemed a lot bigger in my head. Ah, problems often seem larger in our heads than they really are. That's an important lesson to learn. But this sure. is a sensor, an integral part of any sane person's mind. The sensors roam through your psyche, looking for thoughts that don't belong. Hallucinations, manias, waking dreams. The sensors hunt them down and censor them out. Why do they come after me? I'm not a mania. Yes, but you are a foreign entity in my mind. You technically don't belong here. 
Yes, but I was attacked in my own head. Yes, well, the brain tumbler could be malfunctioning, or you could be insane. We'll test for that later. For now, <laughs> blast it. <laughs> blast it. Jack, oh wow, that's actually a really real good lesson. Yeah, something tells me this wasn't the monster in his vision. <laughs> Maybe it was. Things always look scarier in the dark and in your own mind. That's the spirit. I killed it. It was just a thought I was having, and it's not dead. It has just returned to its basic form, raw psychic energy. Go absorb it. It's good for your mental health. <laughs> as you absorb this energy, your mental health increases. But as you Psy Blast, you expend your will to do damage. So be on the lookout for these small, dense clusters of raw psychic aggression. Absorb these as well to make sure you always have enough firepower. Now I'll leave the machine on for you, so you can practice. So you have to blast 1,000 sensors to earn your marksmanship merit badge. Come back every day for practice, and you should have enough in as little as three weeks. Three weeks? I only have a few days to earn all my merit badges and become a psychonaut. Slow and steady wins the race, my eager young friend. Now practice, slowly and carefully. Oh, man. Uh, Jack, oh, so cast from HP. Uh, yeah, kind of. Turn it up to maximum. Man. Mm, still not fast enough. What have you done? This is not control. This is chaos. I'll try to fix it. You stay here and keep the numbers under control. Can I go on the side? I guess I can. Help Sasha get senses under control. Rasputin, see those valves? That is where the sensors are leaking out. Psy blast the valves to shut them down and get this area under control. Yes, I am. Sasha's first loss. Uh, Jack, but slow and steady didn't win the race, overconfidence lost the race. Yeah, that's true. Okay. So him as a baby, I guess. And then his mother died. Oh. Well, his mum died and he was a baby, that's sad.
Ah, God. Ah, hey. Leave me alone. I'm gonna collect figments here. Oh, eine kleine Nachtmusik. I like that one. Already at maximum projection depth. Okay. Now it's gone somewhere else. So work is never over. There it is. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Oh my god. What was that? Jojo reference. Good. Well, you got them all. <laughs> oh no, you close one leak down and another springs up. Well, come on, we've got to take care of these too. Jack, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Oh my god. I swear, old man. Man, I swear, old man Joseph is the best, best part of that series. You're bigger and more powerful when you shoot things. I don't think I like that. I think I got all the sequence and stuff in here. Stop hitting me, that'd be very nice. That was one more up there. That was one up there yet though. Yeah, why do you jump in front of me? Every time you lose all your mental health, you peel off a layer of your astral projection. If you lose all the layers, then you will no longer be able to maintain the projection in this mental world, and you will be kicked out into the real one. Collect markers like to replace layers, and collect markers like to increase how many layers you can maintain at once. Ah, that's what it meant. Old Man Joseph is just the best. Yes, yes, yes. Yep. 
Ah, what? Oh, yay, now they throw bombs. Well, no, actually, no, they throw enemies. <laughs> oh, they throw living bombs. Nice. Sad break. Astral projection layer restored. Your projection into this mind is deepened by one layer. Yay. On the way. I want you to hit me. Ah, they, they followed me all the way up here. What? I think I like that. Make sure I grab all the figments. It's kind of hard to figure if I've done so with everything chasing me. The cobweb, but I don't have to dust it yet. Okay, I think that's everything. At least I hope that's everything. I'm gonna get out of here so I can stop being harassed by these goddamn bombs. Uh, Jack, wow, those enemies are real hotheads. They must have a short fuse. Yeah. Okay. We die. Nope, there's another one. But of course there is. Yeah. Let's see you follow me on this. Jack, no need to go ballistic here, guys. Hey, I'm having a blast. Uh, I figured there'd be one on each face. Yeah. Seems like seems that way, certainly. Oh, they're normal again. Uh, yeah. 
suit case tag. No. Hey. Yes, no. <laughs> <laughs> Pigments. Don't want to leave anything behind. I guess I can come back here later, but you know. I need to get everything I can as early as I can. That's it! I've completely blocked off all of Sasha's sensor outlets. I can't wait to tell him. I hope you have learned a lesson here today. Yes, I have. That shooting things is fun and useful. No, that once you lose control of your own mind, it's very hard to get it back. Yes, one's thoughts must be 100% controlled at all times. Well, no. Actually, if you try to completely suppress your undesirable feelings, they'll build and build and eventually explode. Oh, so, uh... What would happen if you were to, say, completely block off all your sensor outlets? Well, there would be a build-up of sensor energy within that would, uh, eventually... Run, Rasputin, very fast. You are my own creation! I command you to stop! Rasputin, it's time to earn your merit badge. Time for a boss. Ah! Help Sasha get ah! this until it's done. Defeat the mega sensor. I, 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 I. Rasputin! Shoot him as fast as I can. Peel me off and put me down! Enough horseplay, Rasputin. Destroy him! Um. Enough! Ow. He said peel me off and put me down, bud. How did I. How do I do that? Ow! Heels. Those little Enough. sensors are re-energizing the big ones somehow. Peel me off and put me down! How? Ah. Explain to me how I do these things. The small sensors are feeding into his strength. You must stop them. Ow. Oh, is there a... Ah. I see. Try these. Rasputin! I got this, Sasha, don't worry. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Rasputin! Last one. Yeah.
Excellent. You've shut down the valve so he cannot be rejuvenated. Now destroy him. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Easier said than done. Put me down. Put me down. Put me down. Okay. If I shut off the valves, why are they still coming out? Trying to pick up the house. It's hard. Sheesh. This is only the first boss, and I'm already having so much trouble. The enemy. Somehow, not perfectly, but enough. Gotcha. So, is this where I get a speech and learn another lesson? No, here's your merit badge. Let us never speak of this again. <laughs> Merit. <laughs> I want to shoot more things. Okay, okay, enough about my mind. Let's stay out of my mind for a while. Let's just go back into yours, huh? Step up to the brain tumbler when you're ready. And that is where we leave it for today. Oh, this is a lot of fun. I'm loving this game so far. Can't wait to play more. Um, okay, uh, comments first before I go. Wow, this game is actually giving some pretty good advice. You can't control all of your thoughts and it's okay to let loose sometimes. Yes. One thing I actually think I tried to tell you at some point. Yes. Yes. <laughs> um, so often. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's, you know, thoughts are thoughts. Thoughts in themselves aren't bad. Like, if, if you, like, I, I regularly fantasize about, like, strangling people, for <laughs> one example. And, like, I'm not going to actually do it. One example. But, sure. like... <laughs> one of many <laughs> <laughs> of many of previous <laughs> like yeah i have violent thoughts i have inappropriate thoughts let's just say but that's fine as long as they they stay inside my head and i don't act on them it's it's fine to have them because who else is going to know right um no many people Yes, but still. <laughs> that's my point. It's okay if they're just thoughts. If you act on them, that's when it starts getting bad. But if you're just thinking about it, then it's fine. So nothing nothing harmful there. Um, okay. Okay, just one left. Yeah, okay, now you can hit it. Yep. They aren't still coming out. They were coming out. Shutting off the valves didn't kill the ones that already made. Yeah, but it, it seemed like they, they kept respawning still. Uh, good shooting, E. Thanks. He fair enough, Agent Nine. Uh, Lydia. Da 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 da. <laughs> um, Jack, well, hostile XD. Uh, the internet, apparently. <laughs> yeah, well, I, just still, I was making the point that it's okay if they're just thoughts and not actions. 
um that yeah i have fantasies about hurting people too yeah i mean who doesn't really yeah. it's Indeed. yeah just doesn't mean you are actually going to hurt them just you know you think about it because they yes. annoy you <laughs> yes uh, but anyways yes so that's uh all for today i will see you all again tomorrow at 6 p.m pst um for more of this so look forward to that and until then <laughs>